to the Department of Justice filing a landmark lawsuit today against Apple. The DOJ in 16 states accusing Apple of monopolizing the smartphone market, citing a list of examples, including that grainy video iPhone users get sometimes from friends and family who don't have iPhones themselves. Tonight, how Apple is now responding to all of this, and here's our Chief Justice Correspondent, Pierre Thomas, now. Tonight, the Justice Department taking on one of the most powerful companies on the planet, accusing Apple of being a monopoly, crushing its competition while making iPhones even more expensive. Consumers should not have to pay higher prices because companies break the law. Attorney General Merrick Garland claiming that Apple's 70% domination over the U.S. smartphone market is a result of illegal behavior. For example, DOJ says... Apple deliberately makes messaging between iPhone users and those using competing devices more difficult. For example, if an iPhone user messages a non-iPhone user in Apple Messages, the text appears not only as a green bubble, but incorporates limited functionality. The conversation is not encrypted, videos are pixelated and grainy, and users cannot edit messages or see typing indicators. A DOJ alleges the tech giant blocks third-party apps and other services from competing with Apple products, like denying iPhone users access to any other digital wallet tap-to-pay service other than Apple Pay. Tonight, Apple pushing back, saying in part, this lawsuit threatens who we are and the principles that set Apple products apart. If successful, it would hinder our ability to create the kind of technology people expect from Apple. Tonight, Apple basically telling DOJ, see you in court. The company is expected to file a legal response soon. Apple officials said in their statement tonight, DOJ's lawsuit is wrong on the facts and the law. David? More to come on this, Pierre Thomas tonight. Pierre, thank you. The U.S.